Pat's Two Cents with Lynette. Lynette has a word of exhortation straight from the Lord. Listen up, y'all. Mm -hmm. Well, the Lord is saying we definitely need more power in this hour, and the way that we can achieve that is to get discipline over our eating habits. God is really dealing with the and the body of Christ, I see I'm not the only one as I listen to other people. Um, we've got to get control over our bodies because what's coming. Thank you, Father. Now I know which way to go. Thank you. Um, the famine and the drought. Um, this is boot camp. God said if you, if you stay ready, you won't have to get ready. So if you are subjected in your body under subjection and you're fasting and praying like you're supposed to, so when the food starts flying off the shelves and you can't find anything, you won't be panicking and freaking out like the majority of people who are not fasting or praying or even believe in the Lord. They're going to be freaking out when they can't grab their burgers and, or whatever they eat just at any time or whenever they want. Because there's not going to be any food. And a lot of people say, well, I don't believe that. This is America. You know, a lot of people don't believe that. But it's going to happen. And... The Lord had me share with Sister Pat that we are, us that are alive right now, we are going to experience some of the tribulation, not a whole lot of it, because God said that we wouldn't be able to bear it if he just, you know, let us go through all of it. He, he did let me know that, and a lot of people don't want to hear that or don't receive it. I didn't want to hear it when he told me that, but he said there is some, some tribulation that we're going to go through. We're going to experience some of it, not all of it. But we are going to experience it, and I believe that this famine and drought is um, a part of it. And if you think about it, not having no water or, you know, having access to food like you used to, mm -hmm. the food is a very, um, it can be very traumatic for, for some. But he said, if we uh, begin to fast and pray and just start living our lives, you know, like that as unto him, sacrificing, you know, turning that plate down, turning you know, off the TV, turning off the social media, and just really getting alone with him. And that includes <clears throat> pushing away that plate. <laughs> that God will, honor, God will honor that. And not yes. only that, um, you know, we're going to need to be strong. We're going to need to be strengthened um, when they tell us, you know, hey, there's no food in this store to buy. And we're going to have to be, we might always might have on the shelf is a can of beans and some rice. Well, you're going to you, if you go with the way the Lord wants you to do, you'll be just fine with that beans and rice. You just have, have it rationed out. If it's just you, it'll be fine. If it's you and you got a family, y'all just going to have to hook them beans and rice up yes. and ration it out. But it's coming, and I know it sounds crazy, and it sounds, you know, to some people it sounds crazy. I won't say it sounds crazy to, to the believers, but it, it sounds like there's no way, but it's coming. So just be prepared, and that's what I was led to share with the body of Christ. If you stay ready to keep from getting ready, you won't have to suffer like somebody who is not disciplined when this happens, because I'm telling you, it's going to happen suddenly. Suddenly. They're going to say, oh, we don't have any food. Oh, we don't have any water. Yeah. When they've known all along that it was coming down to this. So that's a warning and an and a, um, exhortation that God said, I will be with you, fear not. I will be with you, and anything that you need, I will, I will supply your needs, because I am Jehovah Jireh, the Lord told me. Mm -hmm. 